Now the board confirmed the proposed executive order that will enable the expeditious processing of licenses, clearances, permits, certifications, and authorizations for the Marcos Administration's Infrastructure Flagship Projects, or IFPs. The primary goal of this EO, proposed EO, is to minimize, if not eliminate, delays in the implementation of IFPs. This EO will require all government offices, agencies, and instrumentalities, including LGUs, to streamline the standard procedure and requirements for the IFPs. The simplified requirements will be ap uh, applicable to both pending and new applications within the NEDA board approved list of IFPs as well as any additions to the updated IFP list. Additionally, the EO facilitates electronic applications or application submissions to the concerned agencies and local government units or LGUs, including the payments and issuance of receipts. This EO encourages a whole of government approach by directing national government agencies to automate and computerize their databases. This will promote data sharing among government agencies in order to eliminate the unnecessary duplication of document submission. LGUs are also mandated to establish business one-stop shops and are highly encouraged to coordinate with the Department of Information and Communication to adapt interoperable ICT platforms. In line with this, the Anti-Red Tape Authority, or ARTA, in coordination with NEDA, shall establish a reporting framework to track agencies' compliance.